So hi everyone, uh, I'm Kevin, product designer in the newly created stage growth. Um, so it's composed of six groups, uh, which are acquisition, conversion, expansion, retention, and fulfillment and telemetry. Uh, today I'm going to be talking a bit more about conversion. So when I'm talking about conversion, these are the people uh, composing the group. Um, so what do we do? Uh, our mission is to make it as easy as possible for teams to collaborate together using the features that their suits their needs. Uh, our main areas of focus are initial product activation, uh, user interaction with paid features, and the trial experience, uh, which we recently added to our group. Uh, how do we do this? Uh, so we seek to build, measure, and learn uh, from data-informed hypothesis. Uh, when I say data-informed, I am mainly speaking about um, quantitative data. Uh, that doesn't mean that we don't do qualitative, uh, but we uh, prioritize quantitative first, which is uh, a bit of a new way, I guess, to uh, proceed uh, within GitLab. So I'm going to walk you through how we applied this methodology uh, on promoting the value of log features. Uh, and this was our very first issue we tackled uh, as a group. So the first thing to do was to observe the current state of um, those um, different upgrade points that you had within the app. Uh, and what you can notice is like most of them are combining um, rather like informative informa informative content, sorry. Uh, there are illustration, a headline, uh, and a bit more explanation about what the feature is. Uh, but some of them, like this issue weight, is a bit of a paywall. Um, so you don't like you don't know much what to expect actually. Um, and we're also using like several different components um, to show this, which like you're not really, you don't know what you're gonna get basically. Uh, you can get a model, the banner or uh, an empty state. And here was actually quite a, a good example of having it directly embedded within the issue board. Um, so based on our observation, we uh, draw the following hypothesis is would more uh, contextual and demonstrative of great points help better communicate feature value. Um, the underlying business goal that we we're tackling was a potential uplift in ARR, so annual recurring revenue through free to pay conversion. Um, if now, if we put ourselves into the user's uh, shoes, we can formulate it as the following. So when I'm using GitLab, I want to quickly assess the relevance of a feature so that I understand how I or my team can benefit from it. So um, how can we do this? Um, so the first step was to start thinking for who we were designing. Um, arguably, you could say that all of our uh, users and, and persona would fit in this case, right? So from developers to product manager, product designers, um, but we actually choose to focus on our core uh, users and mainly because they were the one uh, seeing the changes as well as they would be the best advocate um, for a new feature usage within their company. Um, so the main axis that we wanted to explore, as I stated earlier, uh, more contextual and more demonstrative, what does that actually generate um, as ideas was, could we make this fit more naturally in the workflow? Perhaps would it be triggered when users are performing a given action? And demonstrative would be more visual, more interactive, and perhaps more educational. Um, you may notice that I'm saying a lot more and uh, there's a very important thing to remember is that people are using GitLab to get work done and we cannot impede that. We cannot um, throw a bunch of feature explanation um, while they're trying to do something because then we're going to add cognitive load to their workflow and this is not going to be efficient at all. Um, 
So we needed to find a vessel to test this hypothesis and to make all of those axes converge. Um, so our best candidate was um, the issue sidebar and the different uh, log feature that you have within it. So if we take this example of the weight feature, if you click on a break point, plan, sorry, you would have this popover um, where you could um, basically read a bit more about the feature within GitLab doc, upgrade your plan, don't show me this again, would completely uh, black out the feature from appearing within the, the, the issue sidebar. And this would be if you are an admin that actually have the capacity of upgrading. If not, uh, we would advise you to contact the owner of the group or the issue, um, but without giving any action point. And if we think about it, for example, if you're in a big company, you might not even know this person, right? Um, so we started thinking of an MVC um, to approach this. And um, I'm sorry, it's a bit of a like nerdy flow. <laughs> um, but basically we define the following. Um, so user would click on it. So as an admin, you would either choose to start a trial, upgrade, uh, which would send you to the upgrade slash trial funnel that at the moment was um, on customer.getlab. Um, or as a non-admin, uh, you would have to request an upgrade or a trial to uh, the your organization admin. Um, clicking on this would open a pre-filled issue. You would then submit the issue, uh, admins get notified, and then you would have approval or not. Um, we wanted to mm, do it this way, or at least try it this way, um, so that we're not sending a bunch of emails, even though you might get notified through email uh, that an issue has been open. Uh, we thought that considering the frustration point for administrator, it was maybe a softer way to proceed. Um, but here I'm going to be more focusing on what will happen if you are an admin and you can upgrade and you encounter this kind of feature. Uh, so the first idea was to uh, try to reuse this popover, but just add perhaps video content. So pulling from what we have uh, in YouTube. Um, some of the features are explained and some are not. Um, so it, it was like probably not the best idea, but at least this is maybe a plan on where we wanted to go. Um, so we'd have the possibility to start a trial or just to dismiss this. Um, oops, sorry. Uh, but what happened is we felt that the popover was a bit intrusive. If we take the example of this issue, it's, it's getting like hard to read. So we thought, why not trying to embed it directly uh, within the issue bar? So for example, using uh, an accordion and progressive disclosure um, to actually provide more um, information about this feature in a way that seemed less disruptive. Um, so basically our first iteration were the following. Um, we wanted to focus on the admin part first uh, to run up a test uh, and get a first signal um, before proceeding with the non-admin part. You might notice as well that the video is gone. Uh, so we actually choose to start with an image before investing more time on how to embed the video and not increase the load time of the page. Um, so basically this is the moment where you launch your tests. Um, so usually we would go with a regular A-B testing, uh, define a set of metrics um, that we want to observe and um, see if our hypothesis gets validated or not. Um, the thing is when we started this work, um, we were not quite ready for this technically. Plus we had some um, changes in telemetry um, that we needed to take account for. So we did not proceed with negative testing, um, but we launched it as a baseline improvement. So it got rolled out to 100% of um, the free GitLab accounts. And like I mentioned, targeted only admin users. 
uh, that have the permission to upgrade. So I spare you the drum roll, but even if it's not like a full A-B testing, this is kind of a moment where um, your assumption are being tested. Um, so this was the result. So you might observe that we could try the crates, which ultimately is not much. You cannot tell, basically you cannot confirm or not your hypothesis based on this, uh, but still, uh, even though um, the traffic was low, it was a small signal um, on, on, on what we should focus on. Um, so based on this, we defined a set of next steps. And uh, what we want to do now is get more qualitative feedback, um, better understand how people perceive the change. Um, we also felt that upgrade was probably too much of a commitment, like actually the the better way to advocate or even um, find if a feature is valuable would be to try it first um, and perhaps use the same um, design content but within um, a full entity page. Um, and the don't show me this again uh, needs a safety net because like I mentioned, if you click on it, it completely disappeared uh, from the interface. Um, so ideally, we would build something where user could switch on and off um, the display of those log feature. Um, and then now we can also probably focus on the non-admin part. Um, so thank you for your attention. Um, it doesn't sound like uh, a, a very like beautiful story where we could launch our experiment and everything worked, uh, but I think we learned a lot from this process and now we we know uh, pretty much what we can uh, focus on. Thank you.